Hello, my name is Brandon Winkler, and today I'll be showing you my top five favorite pieces of art in Shelbyville, Indiana. I'm not an artist, I'm not even an expert, but what I am is a college student with a final that has a deadline. So come with me as I explore Shelbyville, Indiana for my top five pieces of art. Shelbyville, Indiana, a small town of 19,000 and the place I call home. It may not be known for its art specifically, but with a keen eye, art can be found everywhere. And wouldn't you know it, with or without a keen eye, I think I've found some. This beautiful piece of art was done by the owner of the store, Max Music. Unfortunately, Max Music is no longer in this building, but just looking at that painting, we can see all the things that inspire Mac to keep his store open, and I'm happy to say, his store is still open just down the street. Coming in at number 4 is Shelbyville, Indiana's Architecture. To be completely honest, I can't even tell you how old these buildings are. Even with research, it's very hard to find, but nonetheless, it's all very beautiful. Coming in at number three, we have this blank red wall. No, seriously. This building used to be completely white and covered in graffiti. It had all kinds of different art on it. Unfortunately, when the building was bought, they painted it red, covering all of the art. Coming in at number two is a giant mural painted on the side of a building. This building is located near one of Shelbyville's entrances and is a great look at the town's history. And coming in at number one is the Charles Major statue. This beautiful statue is of Brent Balser, a character in Charles Major's book, The Bears of Blue River. Major was actually born in Indianapolis, but moved to Shelbyville with his family when he was 13. And now his memorial reigns supreme over the Shelbyville Town Square. And that was my top five pieces of art in Shelbyville, Indiana. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. This has been Dark Slayer, and I'm signing out.